Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Philippa and welcome back, welcome to the Little Matilda Atelier. So, in my last video, I talked about unfinished objects or unfinished projects, and uh, the chosen one was the teddy bear. So, I We'll finish that soon and I will try to document step by step. Okay? So, it's a promise. <laughs> so, in today's video, I decided to show you how I do the dolly buntings. And uh, I've been making them for a while now. And they are this. Like, they are cute. They are perfect for doll houses to use with our dolls. Uh, and for basically anything for decoration I think the the buntings are a must when you have um, to to decorate any space and they are funny they are festive and yeah so I'll show you how to how I do it so basically you'll need a good selection of fabrics so I usually buy bundles or fat quarters you can find them on a haberdashery shop or fabric shop or eBay Etsy actually these ones are for from Alice and Ginny and have a beautiful selection of vintage fabrics if you'd like to take a look I will link their shop their eBay shop in the description box also, uh, jute uh, roll, jute string, and thread, needle, fabric scissors, and some thread scissors. Uh, if you'd like to add some beads, I usually add some beads. If you'd like to do it, I've got these from... AliExpress, I think these are from AliExpress, but you, you can uh, get them on eBay as well, or Etsy, or Hobbycraft, any, basically any haberdashery or craft shop. So what I do is, I have came up with a, a triangle, a small triangle, that I can't find it now. Where is it? So yeah, I came up with a mold, just a, a triangle. You can do one or you can Google triangles and just print it and cut it. And you can, and then you use it as a mold to make the flags. So, yeah, now I will show you how to do it. coffee. Always have coffee. <laughs>
so you have you can make it in different lengths and this one will have about 50 centimeter and what I'll do is I measure about 50 centimeter length so it will be in here and I'll just cut it so then I measure about 10 centimeter and I make a knot mm. yeah I think I'm going to you see yeah. yeah this is better so I make a knot I'm going to add one of these beads and I do another knot and now someone is knocking on my door <laughs> I'm back <sighs> so as I was saying I do, I do another knot in here. So it's now I choose one of the the flags, and you have two options, or you can just do this and so hand sew, or you can pin. I like you can pin so that you know where it will stay so you have two options I don't pin I just press with my fingers and I start sewing so I usually do a knot here like this you can see yeah, a little knot and I grab this and press it with my fingers and I just start sewing from the inside so that you can't see that knot and I just do I don't even know which stitch is called maybe a back stitch I don't know and I I just keep sewing along the jute so I use the jute as a guide and I just keep sewing along the jute so I just do this and I'm not even sure if there's a, a right way or a wrong way to do this but I don't usually do things by the book so this works from for me and it's handmade it's hand sewed uh, this is too small for the sewing machine but if you would like you can try your sewing machine but I prefer to hand stitch and it's also like therapeutic and it's very satisfying <laughs> yeah so at this one when you finish to sew the first flag you have two options you can add, you add another one and just sew along or and that's what I'm going to do now or you just finish so I do two knots and I just on the back if you see the back stitch see on the back I just 
put the needle inside between the fabric and the jute and I pull it and cut the thread and here's our first and here's our first flag how cute is this then if you'd like you can measure about five millimeters and I know that it's in here and add another flag at your choice again I do a little knot in my thread and do exactly the same as I did on my first flag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you can be updated every time that I post a new video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week, bye, bye, bye. <laughs>